Hi guys, welcome to Decorative Homestead. So we're starting out a vlog today. What I'm doing here right now is I'm going to plant some tear root. So I have some tear root over here. Right here, entire bucket right over here. And we're going to plant it in this area that's kind of cleared out. And that's what we're going to do right now. And so I'm going to set you up and do a time lapse. So now I finished just planting all of these. That was a big bucket, so it took me a little bit. I wasn't able to capture the entire time lapse, so because the power, because the battery went out. But anyways, that's done. Now we have something to do in the bees. Uh, there, the bees. There's one hive that I have that has a, I believe, a drone laying queen, or doesn't have a queen at all, and the worker bees are pitching in laying drone eggs. So we kind of have to take care of that first. Um, we have something, we have like a screw that is screwed into the stand so somebody can't easily remove it if somebody's trying to steal it. Um, so I have to remove those first, the screws first, and then another day I'll come in and I'll do the process that you need. So let's go ahead and go into the bees and let's take care of that. Okay, so here are one of my bee yards. Now they're actually quite quiet right now. There's, this is my probably weakest hive in this area. But this one is the one right here that has the drone lane queen or the drone lane worker bees, I don't know which one. But anyways, we're smoking that. What The I, problem here is we can't do the process right yet and go ahead and get the queen out, the drone lane queen out, because we have the way we want to do it. And the problem here is that we can't do it because these poles are screwed to the, the hive. So we have to go inside the hive and unscrew them with a uh, Phillips screwdriver. And that's what we're gonna do right now after my brother finishes smoking all the hives. We smoke all the hives first, and then we go into this hive. I'm gonna try to do this the best I can with one hand, but I'm probably gonna end up having to pass the camera to my brother, and he's gonna put down the smoker. Fun's already beginning. First we're going to check for eggs one last time. You can see it's just drone laying eggs, just drone eggs. I really don't see any hope for this hive unless we do something about it. So we're going to take this over here and stick this right over here. If we see the queen in the process, we're going to take her and smash her. So, I'm trying to clear out space to find the screws, so let me see here. can't see the screws yet. Let's pull these over. There we go, there's a screw down there. So let's go ahead and get the screwdriver. So let's get this fixed. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn you off for a second because they put the list inside the Phillips screwdriver. Give me a second. Now I'm gonna try the best I can, guys, but in here there's pollen, and then there's also some uh, drone, drone laid, freshly laid drone eggs right in here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see those little white things inside the cones. Some of them have pollen on it, but some don't. Anyways, I don't know if you can see, it's so hard to see, they're very small. But anyways, there's multiple in there's multiple one of those eggs in there. There's more than one egg inside a, a cell, that means that are gonna be drones. So you have to take them out, the queen out, if you have a queen in there. And if you don't have a queen in there, that means that you have a, a worker bees laying drone eggs. And that's not all that good because it doesn't help grow the hive because you don't get worker bees, which is what you need. Drones don't help, and there's a drone right there. It's just basically the male that mates with the queen. I'm just going to set this right down here. I'm still trying to get that screw out. It's really hard. Oops, sorry guys. Got to try to get the screw out. It's, they filled it in with propolis, which is giving me a really hard time. So I got one detached, but there's another somewhere over here somewhere. I hate to do this to this hive. The more stress we put them the more bees that die the worse off it's going to be we're going to do another process on sunday come in and have to go into them again because they don't have a queen right now we're just taking off the screws so that when we do this process we can do it easily and efficiently we can't do it right now because all the bees are going to be everywhere and it's just going to make a huge disaster okay so here's the other screw right there now there's pulpless inside of the screw uh hole we're making it hard for me to unscrew it. And it's the same with, with the other one. And it's the same with this one as well. 
So I'm gonna turn the camera off and try to get this one off out again. So mission accomplished. We have now finished, successfully finished getting um, the, both the screws out. So now we're gonna try to put all these frames back in to where they were. Okay, so over here what we did, we, what I did, stack a bunch of uh, panels in here just to make it easier for me to, to get the screws out, create more space, now we're gonna put them back. This is a strong hive, it just doesn't have its queen, so we need to help it so it'll get its queen back. And that's what we're gonna do on Sunday. I'll have another video out on doing that. Again, I'm just looking thoroughly to see if I can find the queen. If I can find the queen, then I can confirm it's a drone lane queen and not the drone lane drone lane worker bees. If it's worker bees, then you're, I'm still gonna have to do this process, which I'm gonna show you in another video. Okay, and I'll be doing that on Sunday. And you may be looking and seeing all these eggs right here. Don't be alarmed by that, that's not a queen. We took this and we put a frame in there from another hive to help it keep up its population. We were thinking maybe, um, maybe that possibly, they, if it was a queen, maybe they would kill the queen and make a new drone, uh, make, a new, make a new queen. But no, they didn't do that. And so we're going to, they're just gonna have these eggs hatch and then we're gonna come out and we're gonna put um, a new, we're gonna do this process and we'll put a new frame in there for them to make drone it, um, drone, uh, queen, a new queen. Now over here, it looks like they have, looks like a queen cell, but it's not quite one. I think it's most likely a drone cell. Those are drone cells for sure. I am seeing some more honey than usual, so that's actually nice. Good season's supposed to be on the roll, so we'll be harvesting, hopefully harvesting some honey soon. I'm not sure, we'll have to see. I think the smoker's pretty much out. Oh, it's still going a little bit. Let's grab the butter knife. We really don't have too much professional tools. Butter knife and Phillips screwdriver. Let's get on out of here. Basically, I'll just give you a rundown of what I'm gonna do on Sunday and you'll see a video on me doing it. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hive, the entire hive, this is why I want them all calm, and I'm gonna take them when they're all in the hive and move them 30 feet away from the direct area that they are, the box and everything. Then I'm gonna take them, shake them all out of the hive, every last bee, okay? I'm gonna take the box and put it back in the direct, the area it was. Okay, what is that gonna do? Well, what it's gonna do is all the bees that, the nurse bees, the worker bees that were laying eggs, they don't, they've never been out of the hive and they don't know where the hive is. So they won't be able to make it back to the hive. But all the forager bees that don't lay eggs will know the way back to the hive and they'll fly back to the hive. Now, from what I've heard, sometimes other bees will, will uh, work with bees if there's not enough uh, other bees doing a certain duty. This is what I've heard. They will uh, take up a duty that is needed. So if there's, there's no work, nurse bees, the work forager bees will take on the responsibility of the nurse bees because they're not there. And then they'll make a queen, which what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some eggs for them to make a queen. And that's how we're gonna roll with this. I think that has worked with my other hive and I think it's gonna work with this hive, so that's what we're doing. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, these are the four hens right there. The four hens are the four troublemakers we have. The rooster, he's not, well, he is a troublemaker, but um, he's not the troublemaker, the type of troublemaker these hens are. These hens, no matter what you do, uh, they're going to get out unless you put them in a pen like this. And that's the problem with all four of these chickens, especially the black one right there, the black hen. She's a constant problem maker. Now the rooster, he's a problem because he likes to bully all, all the other roosters. He's the biggest of them all. And so he tends to bully them all. And so that's why he's in here. So it kind of serves a double purpose to keep the ladies happy with having him in here and keep all the other roosters happy as well. By the way, our um, mandarina tree is starting to look good. Hopefully it's not too windy. But anyways, there's some new growth starting on it. And I think we've even saw, seen some little bit of fruit a couple months ago on it. So maybe the next season, this coming season, it will fruit. I don't know. So guys, I'm out here and this is our lemon tree where we get most of our lemons from. And as you can see, or maybe you don't realize it, but 
This right here is what we consider a bad weed that kind of like an air plant that grows on the tree. And so we have to try to do the best we can to prevent this stuff from growing on the tree. But you can tell it's just all over it. I don't know if you can tell it's just everywhere. All over this tree. Also, side note, I wanted to show you in a previous video, I said these um, lemons are orange, not yellow. And as you can see, it's starting to turn yellow. I think there's one further back there that you can see is completely orange. I thought that would be interesting to see. But right now, we have to get this all this air plant to the best of our ability off of the tree because it's just feeding on the tree itself and can hurt it. It also seeds and it can spread to other trees. I think that's how this tree got it from maybe that tree up there which is has a lot of it on there. So we're gonna try the best of our ability to get this off and let's get started. Okay, so like I said, we're starting. Now, I don't have a rake, usually I do this with a rake, but basically the idea is to get all this off, as I said. It just embeds itself into it, into the tree, and basically drinks the life out of this plant. So there we go, it's mostly clean. I got as much of it as possible I could off of it. My brother helped me a little bit, my sister was filming, that was good. So that's how much we got off of it. There's also a lot more spread kind of all the way around the tree because we've been throwing it everywhere. And we also have this tree over here. This tree, I, if I'm, my sister said that this tree has some on it too. Um, I don't see any on it. Oh, wait a minute, no, there's some is. Okay, so it's right up there. It's just right up here. So I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna take that off. And I just heard my one of my sisters say that they just had a guinea pig that was completely black that was born. So I'm gonna go take you and look at that in a minute. But let me first get this off and then we'll go over to the guinea pig shed. Yeah, it's got a good start. There's some of it. Okay, let's go see the baby cooey. So here's the black cooey. It only has a little bit of black and brown right here. But other than that, it's completely black. And is the is the um, mother black or what is? Yeah, she's a little bit black. Not much. And so she made a completely black baby. It's nice. We call them cooey here in Ecuador. So sometimes they say cooey instead of guinea pigs. So just please note that that's what they're called here in Ecuador. Sometimes at four o'clock, my siblings get up and do school. So here's that. I'm gonna go in and roll that footage that my sister um, um, filmed. So here's that. So what are you doing? I'm reading. What are you reading? Can you show us your book? Close your book and show it to us. Can you close it? Very good. You wanna tell us what you're doing? Uh, math. Math, okay. You wanna tell us what your favorite subject is? Oh, economics. Economics is your favorite subject? Great. Okay, I mean, so up. now, nice what this is right here, this is the 9 volt battery right here. Comes up to this, 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 this button right here. And uh, this button, and then what it does is it comes to here down to these LEDs. Right here. Like these are LEDs like lights. And then it comes through, this the positive negative comes through. It comes to back to here, so these, are, these, these lights turn on. The ones that end up happening after you, you switch off, after you press, you're not pressing the button anymore, they dim. They get dim? Dim. They don't completely go off immediately. They dim because it's the capacitor. So I oh. haven't finished it yet. Hi, Olivia. What are you doing? Silent reading. Silent reading? Okay, can you tell us what grade you're in? Seventh. Seventh. Okay, what, what book, what's your book about? David Livingston. David Livingston. So what are you doing, Ella? Are you sure you're doing a test? Uh, I mean, um, math. Your math, very good. What number is the lesson? Are, what number lesson are you doing? What's that? What number is it? Look over here. Um, what number is that? It's 79. 79, very good. Alright, keep doing it. Z, what are you making? Uh, DNA model. 
DNA model. Okay, so you're making the looks like the backbone of DNA. Can you hold up your thing, Izzy? Nope. Is your DNA a ladder. model? Yeah, it's like a ladder, but that's what DNA looks like. It's supposed to be able to twist, but our beads are too big, so I think that's why yeah. it's not twisting. Can you want to tell us what you're doing? Yep. Um, I am reading the Bible. You're reading the Bible. Well, silent reading. For silent reading, and what yeah. part of the Bible are you reading? Yeah, the people cross the ripple. Um, uh, across the uh, Red Sea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Across the Red Sea. Red Sea. Okay, yeah. very good. Currently, we're having a bead break. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sam, are you getting any beads? No, I'm not getting any beads. Of course I'm not. Lying, I'm lying down. Yeah. It's dynamic. You do what? It's dynamic. It's dynamic of what? It's for a necklace. No, no. Oh, a, this is some tough person. Person. Oh, wait. Am I supposed to All right, well, erase right? the board and write on it if you want. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this vlog. If you did, make sure to give a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this video. And if you want to support me and what I'm doing on YouTube, then go on over to Patreon slash Ecuador Homestead. You can contribute to me over there. I'd really appreciate that. Like, subscribe, comment below. Check me out on Patreon, and I'll see you next time on Ecuador Homestead.